In this video on coordinate geometry of the line, I'm going to be having a look at the line when it's written in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero. I'll be looking at how we can rewrite it as y equals mx plus c in order to easily be able to read off the slope and the y-intercept. And I'll also be looking at a quick way to find the slope from the equation of a line in this format without having to rearrange. But first of all, let's look at how to do the rearrangement into y equals mx plus c, and we'll start with an example. So in example one, we have our line 3x plus 2y minus 5 equals 0. So I want to write it as y equals mx plus c and hence find the slope and the y-intercept. So if we want to write it in the form y equals mx plus c, that means getting it as y is equal to. So that means we need to isolate the y term or get it by itself. And we'd ideally like this y to be a positive y. Now, in this question, that's grand because it's already positive, so that's fine. So I'm going to leave the 2y where it is and bring the other two terms across the equal sign to the right-hand side. So I'll have 2y equals, and then 3x will go across and become minus 3x, and minus 5 will go across and become plus 5. So I'm not quite there, but I'm most of the way there. I just need to get the y bit now by itself. And that just means taking this 2 and moving it across my equal sign. Now at the moment, the 2 is the coefficient of y, so it's multiplying by the y. So when it goes across, it needs to divide. And it's going to divide everything on the right-hand side. So I'll write that as y equals minus 3x plus 5 over 2. But I'd like to actually write this again in a slightly different way. If the 2 is dividing into everything on the right-hand side, well, it's dividing into the first term and the second term. So I'm going to split that fraction up and write it as two separate terms. So y equals minus 3 over 2x plus 5 over 2. And by doing this, it makes it really, really clear exactly what the slope and the y-intercept are. So let's go back and look at the question again. It said to write this line in the form y equals mx plus c and hence find the slope and the y-intercept. So just first of all, to point out what that word hence means, essentially hence means use what you just did to answer the next part of the question. So use the fact that you've rearranged your line to now get slope and y-intercept. And that's easily done because we can just simply look at the coefficient of x now and that's going to be our slope. So I'll be able to write that m equals to minus 3 over 2. Don't forget m just stands for slope. And our constant at the end, the plus 5 over 2, is the y-intercept. So I'll just write down that the y-intercept is 5 over 2. Okay, so now a question for you. So your question is, given the line 4x plus 3y plus 5 equals 0, to write that as y equals mx plus c, and hence find the slope and the y-intercept. So pause the video here now complete that question and then play and check if you're correct. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do so is I'm going to have to first of all isolate the y term. So I want to get that 3y by itself and I want it to be positive and it is at the minute so I'm quite happy with that as it is. So I want to say 3y on the left hand side and then I'll move my other two terms to the right and note how they're both positive where they are so they'll both become negative when they go over. So I've got 3y equals minus 4x minus 5. Now I want to get the y bit by itself, and that means taking the 3, which is multiplying here, and bringing it across to divide everything on the right-hand side. And then, like we did in our example, we'll split this fraction up on the right-hand side into two separate fractions. So we've got y equals minus 4 over 3x minus 5 over 3. So we've done the first part of the question now, writing it in the form y equals mx plus c, and now we want to use this to find the slope and the y-intercept. So the slope now is just the coefficient of x. So I'll make a note so that m equals minus 4 over 3. And my number at the end, my constant, is my y-intercept. So I'll note that in this case, the y-intercept is equal to minus 5 over 3. And it's just really important there that because it's a negative, I must include the negative in that part of my solution. Okay, so let's look at a second example now. So this time in our example, we have our line 2x minus 5y plus 1 equals 0. And again, write it in the form y equals mx plus c, and hence write down the slope and the y-intercept. So if you're feeling confident, maybe give it a bash yourself and pause and then play and see if you're correct. Otherwise, follow on with me. So the thing to note in this particular example is that I want to get the y by itself, but just notice how where it is at the moment, it's a negative. And as I said before, I'd really prefer my y to be positive. So I can do that quite easily by just this time bringing my y to the right hand side of the equation. So that'll give me 2x plus 1 equals 5y. Now, we know that with our y equals mx plus c, we want the y to be on the left-hand side of the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information in this statement here and just write it the other way around. So instead of writing 2x plus 1 equals 5y, I'm going to write 5y equals 2x plus 1. And now I'm on familiar territory. 
So I want to get the y by itself. So I'll bring the 5, which is the coefficient of y, across and I'll divide it in. And then I'll separate up my fraction into two separate fractions. And when I split it, I'm going to have y equals 2 over 5x plus 1 over 5. And again, now we want to identify the slope and the y-intercept. That's pretty easy to do. The slope, as always, is the coefficient of the x when the equation of the line is written in this form. So I'm going to note that m equals 2 over 5. And I also need to find the y-intercept. And in this case, the y-intercept is just that 1 over 5 at the end. Again, note that with the y-intercept, I must take account of the sign in front of that fraction. But we know that plus 1 over 5 and 1 over 5 are the same thing. So I don't have to put the plus in there if I don't want to. OK, so now I have a question for you. So here's your question. x minus 3y minus 8 equals 0. Write it as y equals nx plus c and note the slope and the y-intercept. Pause the video here when you do that and then play and see if you're correct. OK, so first thing so is get the y by itself and try and make it positive. So at the moment it's a negative, so I'm going to bring it over to the right hand side. That's going to give me x minus 8 equals 3y. And then just like in the example a while ago, I'm going to just read this in reverse. So 3y equals x minus 8. And this just puts everything in the right positions for my question. And now I want to get the y by itself. So 3 is the coefficient, so it must come across and divide. And I get y equals x minus 8 over 3. And then I want to split that up. And just note that I don't have a number in there next to the x, but I can put the number 1 in for when I'm reading off the slope in a moment. So now I have access to the slope. So I can say m equals 1 over 3. And I also have access to the y-intercept, which is minus 8 over 3. Note that it's very important to include that minus there because it's in the equation in front of the 8 over 3 as well. So that's the first part of our video, rewriting in the form y equals mx plus c to be able to identify slope and y-intercept. But there's also a quick way of finding slope when a line is given to you in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So let's look at that now. So this particular technique can be really useful if you just want to get the slope quickly out of the equation of a line that's given to you in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. And we have a little rule that we follow to do it. So if the equation of the line is given in this format, then the rule is that the slope is minus a over b. Now what this means in practice is that you look at the coefficient of the x and you change its sign and put that on top. And you look at the coefficient of the y and leave it exactly as it is and put it in the bottom. So let's look at an example. So my example is that I've got 3x plus 2y plus 4 equals 0 and I want to find the slope. So to do this, all I have to do is first of all identify the x and y coefficients. So the coefficient of x is 3 and the coefficient of y is 2. Okay, and They're both positive. So to get the slope, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out the coefficient of x and I'm going to change its sign. So at the moment it's a 3, or a plus 3 if you like. So I'm going to change it to a minus 3. And I'm going to put it over the coefficient of y, exactly as it is, sign and all. So that's a 2, so it's a plus 2, but I can write it as 2. So I've got my slope now straight away, minus 3 over 2. This is particularly handy if all you need from the line is its slope. Do watch out though, if the question says to write it in the form y equals mx plus c, then you have to do that. And if you want to know about y-intercept, well, it's a good plan also to write it in the form y equals mx plus c. This is just if slope is your only target. So here's a question for you. You're given a line 4x plus 5y minus 1 equals 0. Find the slope. Pause the video, do the question, check and see if you're correct. Okay, so I want to first of all identify the x and y coefficients. So I've got my a value, if you like, which is the coefficient of x. And I've got my b value, which is the coefficient of y. And to get the slope of this line, I'm just going to say m equals change the sign of the x. So change that to a minus. Don't change the y. So your slope is minus 4 over 5. Job done. Here's a further example. 2x minus 6y plus 7 equals 0. We want to find the slope. So again, if you're confident, pause the video here and give this a bash yourself. And don't forget to simplify your answer. And if not, follow on with me and see what happens. So again, we're following this rule. We just want slope, so m equals minus a over b. So I'm identifying the coefficient of my x, that's my a. I'm identifying the coefficient of my y, that's my b. And to find my slope then, I'm going to change the sign of the x. So change that to 2, or to minus 2 I should say. And then leave the coefficient of y exactly as it is, so over minus 6. And you can see here that I can simplify this down. The minus divided by the minus will give me a plus. 
and two over six cancels down to one over three. Okay, so now a question for you. You've got three X minus five Y minus two equals zero. Find the slope. So pause the video here, give it a bash and then play and see if you're correct. Okay, so we're going to look at our X and Y coefficients. There's my A value. There's my B value. To get my slope, I'm going to say M is equal to minus A, so minus three. I'm changing that sign and I'm not changing this sign. Minus three over minus five. And I can tidy this up slightly. It's just three over five. So one last example. We've got four X minus Y plus three equals zero. We want to find the slope. So again, if you're confident, do it yourself. Pause and then play and check if you're correct. Otherwise, follow on with me. So we're going to look for our A and our B values. So there's my A value. And now here's my B value. But hmm, I don't have a number in front of that Y. So could I put something in there? Kind of have a place value if you like. Well, of course, Y is 1Y. So minus Y is minus 1Y. And now I can go ahead and I can find my slope. So M is going to be equal to, okay, change the sign, that's minus four. Don't change the sign, that's minus one. And then I can cancel my answer down. So a minus divided by a minus is a plus, and four over one is four. So my slope in that case is just four. So here's your last question then. We've got x plus three y plus six equals zero. I want you to find the slope. Pause the video, do the question, play and check if you're correct. Okay, so again, I must identify my A and my B. So A is the coefficient of X and B is the coefficient of Y. But I have nothing here to circle. So again, I'm going to note that X is the same thing as 1X. So in this case, when I go to get my slope, I'm going to say M is equal to, okay, change the sign. So minus 1. Don't change the sign. Just plus 3 or 3. I don't even need to cancel anything down here because m equals minus 1 over 3 is perfectly fine as it is. And that's the slope in this case. If you want a little bit more practice, what you can do is you can go back and look at the questions that we encountered earlier in this video. For example, our first example and our first question. And you can check to see, taking the question as it was given to you initially in the form ax plus by plus c, if you work the slope out with our quick method, does it match the answer that we got using our original method? You can do that for example one, question one, example two and question two if you want a little bit further practice.